Let's build a mini snowman. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my miniature snowman. And he is so precious. I can't wait to share with you how to make him. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday, covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. This miniature snowman is my own personal pattern that I created all by myself. I am going to put a link to the pattern right here at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to pause the video, write that down. Go to the website site where you will see the pattern, print it off, and be ready to crochet with me. I will also include a link to this pattern in the notes section and the comment section. So all you have to do is go click on that link, print it off, and be ready to crochet with me. Let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're going to need to make this cute little miniature snowman. The materials that you're going to need for your mini snowman will include multiple different colors of yarn that is a size 4 weight, worsted, medium, Aran 1012 ply or 8WPI sized yarn. I have a white here for the main body of the snowman, a black for his top hat, eyes, mouth, and his buttons. I have an orange here for his carrot nose, a brown here for his twig arms. And I used a dark green color for his scarf, but really honestly, you can choose whatever color that you want to use to make his little scarf. The particular yarn brand that I chose to use to make my mini snowman was Karen Simply Soft because I personally really like how this yarn is very sharp in details. It, the details are very crisp and it makes everything very clean and easy to see. So I have Karen Simply Soft in white, black, pumpkin orange, chocolate brown, and this is a dark sage green color. But again, utilize whatever you have on hand, what is easily accessible for you. As long as it's that same size yarn, you're good. You're going to need a crochet hook size G6 or 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. I've also seen size G crochet hooks in a 4.25 millimeter size. And so if you have either size, in the G, G size, you, you're fine. The vari variance is not gonna be very noticeable at all. You'll need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle or tapestry needle to weave in your ends, attach pieces, and to add your details. You'll need polyfill or any stuffed animal stuffing. I just favor polyfill, premium polyester. I like that, how that fluffs. And this is optional, but you can add a weight to your snowman so that way he will stand up for you. Okay, I, I like having the weight so that he doesn't constantly fall down. I like ha having him sit up. What I will use is one of these two options. So these right here are glass gems. And I will use three glass gems on the bottom or just feel it. How heavy do you think you need your weight to be in order for your stuffed animal to sit up? So glass gems, I got these from the Dollar Tree, but you can find these at any craft store or Walmart or <laughs> any particular store with a craft section or even a fish tank section because I've seen these used in fish tanks also. Or you could use these. I was thinking outside the box here and I found in the fisherman's or outdoor section, these little egg sinkers. These are a quarter inch or one fourth little inch weights. And each one, I would probably use just one, maybe two of these little eggs, these little weights to put on the bottom of my snowman. But again, feel it. See how much weight you think your item will need to sit up. But yeah, I found these at Walmart, but you can find these at any any place where there's fishing or outdoor items. All right, I'm gonna have links to everything here for your convenience in both the description section and the comment section below this video. Just if you need any help getting your hands on anything or just want ease of access, click the link and get your materials. I'm gonna have that there for you, but utilize what you have on hand too, whatever is easiest for you to get your hands on to make this little snowman. Once you've gathered up all of your materials, let's head straight over to actually making 
our mini snowman. We begin making our mini snowman working on the bottom section or the biggest section of the snowman. So we're gonna need our white color and our crochet hook. The bottom part of the snowman is worked in rounds. So you can either begin with the chain two method or with a magic ring. They're both gonna get you the exact same results. Once we, get, once we get going, we are going to be working in continuous rounds. So I'm not going to be slip stitching and chaining one to get to the next round. I'm just gonna be working straight into a continuous round. And you'll see what I'm doing as I go through this tutorial. To begin, I'm going to use the tail of my yarn, my working yarn, as my row marker. So I'm gonna begin with about a five inch long tail. If you don't wanna use your tail as a row marker, you wanna either use row markers or you're good, you don't need any marker at all to get you where you need to be, you can begin with a smaller tail. Don't have to worry about weaving in your ends, we're just gonna have that tail get pulled right into the inside of the stuffed animal. But I'm gonna use a long tail Create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, and we're, we are ready to begin. So I'm gonna do the chain two method because I prefer the chain two method. If you prefer the magic ring or like using the magic ring, go for it, use that right now. For round one, we're going to be making six single crochet stitches in the first chain or six single crochet stitches inside your magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. Okay, since we just finished all six single crochets, I'm gonna take my row marker tail, yarn that over and pull that tail through the last stitch or the loop of my on my crochet hook to indicate that I have finished round one. If you would like, Put your row marker in that sixth single crochet stitch right there to indicate that was the very last stitch. And then we will keep going. We're working continuously here. So for round two, we're going to make two single crochet stitches in each stitch around or increase single crochet in each stitch around. We will end round two with a total of 12 single crochets. So finding the very first single crochet stitch here, working two, one, same stitch, two, next stitch, three, four, next stitch, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12, perfect. Take your row marker and place it into that 12th single crochet stitch. I'm going to find my row marker tail, yarn that over and pull that tail through the loop on my crochet hook, indicating that was the last stitch of round two. And then place your crochet hook back in that loop and we continue. For round three, the repeat pattern for round three is increase single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch. And then two single crochet, one. Two single crochet, one. You're going to repeat this pattern all the way around for round three, ending round three with a total of 18 single crochet stitches. So here we go. First stitch here, one, two, next stitch, one, next stitch, one, two, next stitch, one. Teen, 17, 18, great. Okay, move your row marker to that 18th single crochet. I'm gonna take my tail, pull the tail through the loop on my crochet hook and reinsert my crochet hook into that loop. We're now ready for round four. For round four, the repeat pattern is going to be increase single crochet in the first stitch, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. And then two single crochet, one, one. Two single crochet, 
one, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round four, ending round four with 24 single crochet stitches. One, two, one, one. One, two, one, one. One, two, one, one. 23, 24, great. Move that row marker. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through my row marker tail. Great, for round five through round nine, all you are doing is making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. That's all you are doing. You're going to end each round, round five through round nine, should have 24 single crochets in each round. So go ahead and get started and I will meet you at the end of round nine to show you what we do next. Okay, last stitch of round nine. Moving my row marker. Great, we are on to round 10. For round 10, the repeat pattern is decrease single crochet in the first two stitches, and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. And then repeat, decrease single crochet the next two stitches, and then one, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round 10. You will end round 10 with a total of 18 stitches. So in the very first stitch here, I will insert my crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. Next stitch, I will insert my crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. I'm left with three loops on my crochet hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and that is a single crochet decrease and then one single crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the next stitch. And then repeat, decrease single crochet, and then one, one. Decrease single crochet, one, one and decrease single crochet, 17, 18. Perfect, move that row marker. Now before we dive into round 11, we want to start actually stuffing the inside of this bottom portion of our snowman because we are slowly closing the top and we wanna make sure we get everything inside. So picking whichever weight, if you wanna use the weights, because again, this is optional, that you wanna use. I'm gonna choose the glass gems here, and I have three. I'm gonna place these three gems into the bottom of the snowman, and then I'm going to lift up this bottom and drop it. And if it still kind of bobbles back to a top facing, so maybe not so, there we go. There we go, I know it's the weight that I want. If you need to add more weights or you choose to add more weights, then go for it. If you think that less weights is enough, then go for that. But that's, I'm gonna stick with just the three pellets. Then grab your polyfill or stuffed animal stuffing. All right, and we're going to just fill this bottom section until it's level with the top here keeping those beads on the very bottom. We don't wanna shift those beads at all. And we also don't wanna overstuff and make our stitches open up, revealing the stuffing inside. So go ahead and reinsert your crochet hook. And we are now going to begin round 11. For round 11, the repeat pattern is decrease single crochet and then one single crochet. And then decrease single crochet one single crochet. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round 11, ending round 11 with a total of 12 stitches. So yarn over, pull through. Next stitch, insert crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your crochet hook. 
and then single crochet into the next stitch. Then single crochet decrease and single crochet. Single crochet decrease, single crochet. 11 and 12. Perfect. Move your row marker. Great. So before we enter in our last round, which is round 12, which really closes up this circular hole in the top, let's go ahead and look at our shape. Give it a pinch, kind of roll it like Play-Doh a little bit. See if you want to add any more stuffing here or if you're good. I think, I think I'm good. I don't think I'm gonna add any more stuffing here. For round 12, the repeat pattern will be decrease single crochet every two stitches together. That's going to be the repeat pattern for round 12 all the way around. You should end round 12 with a total of six stitches. So here we go. Insert crochet hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert your crochet hook into the second stitch, yarn over, pull through. Three loops on your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and then go right into the next stitch. Insert crochet hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Insert crochet hook into the following stitch, yarn over, pull through. Three loops on our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Repeat. And last two stitches, here we go. Move your row marker tail or move your row marker. Check out your stuffing before we seal off this bottom section. Is there any more room for any more stuffing? Do you wanna add any more? Really kind of squish your little, your little ball here. See if you can shift any of the stuffing, help mold it. See if you need to add any more stuffing. I think I'm good, so I'm just going to go ahead and close here. Insert your crochet hook into the first stitch of what would be round 13. Yarn over, pull through, and slip stitch right there. Grab your scissors, cut a small tail. Hey, that small tail that you just cut Yarn that over and pull that yarn through the loop on your crochet hook and pull tight and that creates a slip knot and closes the work, seals that off. If you chose to use a row marker tail, so you have two tails here, go ahead and tie those tails in a knot just to secure everything, fasten everything off. I like using three knots. <laughs> If you're still just using, you only see the one tail, that's fine as well. Take your crochet hook, insert your crochet hook into the one of the stitches on the bottom and poke it out inside that circle on the top. Grab whatever amount of tails you have, either one or two, and pull those tails into the inside of the work. You have to give yourself a couple different grabs, that's fine. Even if you pull the tail through the bottom here, that's fine too. Just grab your scissors, cut that tail, squeeze it, and that sucks that tail into the work. And now we've cleaned up our little ball and we are ready to move on to the next section of our snowman. So the next section of our snowman that we are going to be working on is the head. Working on the head portion of our snowman, we again pull out the white color and our crochet hook. Again, we are working in rounds, so we're going, going to begin with either the chain two method or the magic ring. I am going to be using the chain two method and I'm going to start with my a longer tail so I can use my tail as my row marker. I'm going to begin with a tail about three to four inches long and then create my slip knot. If you are not using your tail as a row marker tail, you can begin with a shorter tail that's one to two inches long, and don't worry about the tail itself. It'll just get sucked into the inside of the stuffed animal. Attach your crochet hook, and we are ready to begin. So I'm going to do the chain two method. If you'd like to use the magic ring, go ahead and use the magic ring. For round one, we will make six single crochets in the first chain, 
or six single crochets inside of the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Move that row marker tail or place that row marker in the sixth single crochet stitch right there. For round two, again, we're working continuous rounds, so I'm going to be diving right into the first single crochet stitch. We're going to increase single crochet in each stitch around, or all that means is making two single crochets in each stitch around. You should end round two with 12 single crochets. First stitch here. One, two, one, two, one, two, eleven, and twelve. Great. Move that row marker. Perfect. For round three, the repeat pattern will be to increase single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then increase single crochet, one single crochet, increase single crochet, one single crochet. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round three, ending round three with a total of 18 single crochet stitches. One, two, and then one. One, two, one. 17 and 18. Great. Move that row marker tail or row marker. For round four through round seven, you're just making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should end each round with a total of 18 single crochet stitches. So go ahead and work round four through round seven, and I will meet you at the end of round seven to show you what to do next. Great, I have just finished round seven, moving my row marker or row marker tail. For round eight, which is the last round for the head, we are going to decrease single crochet the first two stitches and then make one single crochet in the next stitch and then repeat. Decrease single crochet, one single crochet. Decrease single crochet, one single crochet. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round eight. You will end round eight with a total of 12 single crochet stitches. So here we go. One, two, so three loops on our crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, and then one single crochet. Decrease single crochet, and then one single crochet. Decrease single crochet ending with one single crochet. Move that row marker, row marker tail. And to close off this project, slip stitch into the first stitch of what would be round nine. So slip stitch, grab your scissors. And this time we are going to cut a very long tail. So you wanna err on too much than not enough because we're gonna use this tail to attach the head to the body section of the snowman. So I give myself more than a foot, so more than 12 inches to play with. And then I will yarn over this long tail, pull that through the loop on my crochet hook, pull tight for a slip knot. Perfect, and now I'm going to grab my polyfill or grab my stuffed animal stuffing, and I'm going to stuff this head portion. We are looking for the stuffing to just hold structure, shape, hold shape of the head. We don't want to overstuff and cause the stitches to separate or space out because that would just not be attractive. Okay, put that off to the side little tail for me. I'm just going to put in the inside here with all the rest of the stuffing and I'm going to keep the long tail out for sewing and attaching to the body portion. All right, so now that this section is done, the next piece we're going to start working on is the top hat section of our snowman. 
To make the top hat, I would normally use the black color because black top hat just seems to be more fit fitting for the snowman, but you aren't gonna be able to see how I do the stitches. So I'm gonna switch it up and I'm going to use this gray color instead. Same size yarn, everything. Okay, starting for me, I'm gonna start with about a four, five inch long tail just to use as my row marker tail. If you don't wanna use a row marker tail, you can start with a, an inch or two tail just to get started. Making the top hat, we are again working in rounds. So you can begin with either a chain two method or the magic ring. I prefer the chain two method, so I'm going to make a slip knot, attach my crochet hook, and be ready to begin. All right, so chaining two, one, two. For round one of our top hat, you're going to make six single crochets inside the first chain or six single crochets inside your magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, place your row marker in either the six single crochet or yarn over your row marker tail and pull it through the loop on your hook. Reinsert your crochet hook. For round two, we will make two single crochets or increase single crochet in each stitch all the way around, ending round two with a total of 12 single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, 11, 12. Perfect, move that row marker. For round three, the repeat pattern will be increase single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then two single crochet, one, two single crochet, one. Repeat this pattern all the way around for round three, ending round three with a total of 18 single crochet stitches. One, two, one. One, two, one, 16, 17, and 18. Great, move that row marker. For round four, we're going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, but we are going to be working in the back loop only. So moving our work to the top so we can see our V stitches, insert our crochet hook, in the middle of that V-stitch and only go through that back loop only. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both loops for that single crochet. Next stitch, finding the V, putting our crochet hook in the middle of that V and only going through that back loop only. Single crochet. All right, you should end round four with a total of 18 single crochets back loop only. Great. Last stitch there and yarn over, pull through the loop to move your yarn tail or just move your row marker. For round five through round seven, we're just making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around underneath both loops. So nothing particularly special here. So under both loops, a regular single crochet stitch, one regular single crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around for row five, six, and seven, ending each row with a total of 18 single crochet stitches. I will meet you at the end of round seven to show you what to do next. Last single crochet of round seven, moving row marker right here. For round eight of the top hat, we are going to be repeating this pattern right here. We're going to increase single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch, increase single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, but we're going to be working each stitch in the front loop only. So here we go. Looking at our V stitches, we're gonna come from the front and only pick up that front loop. 
So let me do that again. So as if I was coming in at the front of the work, but I'm only gonna grab that front loop from the outside in, leaving behind the back loop. I'm going to single crochet two times in that front loop only. And then come to the next stitch from the outside in and just make one single crochet. Then two single crochets okay, from the outside in. So here's the V stitch, only grabbing the front loop, making two single crochet stitches. Next stitch, finding the V from the outside underneath it in, grabbing just that front loop and one single crochet. Repeat this all the way around. You should end round eight with a total of 27 single crochet stitches, front loop only. So next stitch, finding the V, front loop only, one, two, one. And last stitch, single crochet, front loop only, boom, right there. Moving our row marker, row marker tail, Next, we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch of what would be round nine, underneath both loops, yarn over, pull through, slip stitch, grabbing our scissors, cutting a long enough tail for us to attach this top hat to the head of our snowman. So I will cut more than a foot or more than 12 inches long. Again, error on too much than not enough here. Then yarn over, pull through the loop on our crochet hook, pull that tight to seal off our work, close off our work, and there is our top hat. Just kind of squish down the very top of it to flatten it out. All right, now we're gonna set this aside, and the next thing that we are going to be working on is the scarf. All right, so grabbing the yarn color that we wanna use for the scarf, and the same crochet hook that we've been using for the entire project. We are going to begin with a shorter tail because we're going to be working the scarf in a long strip. So starting with a tail that's about an inch and a half long, create your slip knot, insert your crochet hook, and we are ready to begin. We start by chaining 36 chains. One, two, three, 35, 36, great. So for row one, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from our crochet hook. One, two, single crochet, great. And how the pattern will work for row one is we're going to single crochet in the next 24 chains. Then we will chain three, skip three chains, and single crochet in the rest of the chains to the very last one. So let's go ahead and work that together, starting with single crocheting through the next 24 chains. So one, two, 23, and there's the 24th, the last single crochet here. And now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three, skip three chains, one, two, three, and single crochet in the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains. One, there. perfect. Grab your scissors, short tail here. Okay, great. Take your tail, yarn over, pull your yarn through the loop on your crochet hook and pull tight for a slip knot securing the project. Great. So what you're going to do next is just weave in these ends into your work and then your scarf is done. The next thing we want to work on is the nose portion of our snowman. To make the carrot nose, you wanna start with the orange color yarn and your crochet hook. Grab the end of your yarn Start with a tail long enough for you to either weave in your ends or to sew into the inside of the stuffed animal. Create your slip knot, touch your crochet hook. We begin by chaining three. One, two, three, perfect. 
For row one, you're just going to slip stitch into the second and third chain from your crochet hook. So slip stitch here and slip stitch in that third chain. Perfect, this creates a really skinny little carrot here. This part gets a little different, okay? I want you to take the tail that we began with, yarn that over, and pull that tail through the loop on your crochet hook to really keep that carrot thin. We don't want it to expand so much on the end here. Grab your scissors, cut your yarn long enough for you to sew the carrot, attach the carrot to the snowman. And then what I will do is I'll, I will take these two tails and I will tie a knot just to secure them and keep them where I want them. Okay, great. Looking at all the pieces that we've just created, we're going to start with the two snowman pieces, the two white sections. Using our yarn needle or tapestry needle, go ahead and thread that yarn and we are ready to attach these two pieces. So for me, I am going to align where the join was so you will be able to see this line up the middle of this snowman. I'm gonna find the join section here of the head portion and I want to align those two sections together so that way I can just keep those on the back side of the snowman and we can't really see them. So I'm going to place the head of the snowman over the center section where we closed off the top of the snowman's, the bottom section of the snowman's body. Lining everything up, take the yarn and I will go, so this lines up with this row right here, so I'll move it and I'll say right there, between the two stitch spaces. And then I will come from the outside in of that stitch. There we go. Next stitch. Now I am sewing the head of the snowman with the which ended with 12 single crochet stitches along the top of that of that round to the second or to the let's see 12 11th row of the body which also had 12 stitches. So it should be a 1 to 1 ratio here. Great, and the last stitch here. Okay, before we tie off this yarn and cut anything, I want you to go, go around and separate the head from the body, like pull it apart and see if you missed a stitch and left an, a gaping opening. Now would be the time to fix that. So looking at all my stitches, for me, it looks like I managed to hit every stitch and there were no big openings, but that, you always want to check that before you cut your yarn, that way you can fix it right away. When you are sure that you're, you're done, you're ready, go ahead and take your needle, insert into a stitch or any section close to where your yarn was coming out. Hold some yarn back, keeping a loop back. Take the loop and twist it so it forms this X shape here. Okay, so I see that this side is on top and this side here is on bottom. So I wanna take my needle and I wanna go through the yarn that's on the bottom and into the loop and then slowly feed. And this is just creating a slip knot. That's all that is. Tying to secure, then take the needle, insert into the same stitch, but come all the way out the bottom, pull that through, release the needle, and cut your yarn there at the bottom. And what this does is the yarn that was between the top here and the bottom is now sucked into all that polyfill, and that polyfill is going to keep it secure, okay? So here is our snowman head and body. And next, we're going to attach the top hat. So for me, I have this smaller tail. If you did not do the, the, um, the small tail as your row marker, then you don't have to worry about this. You probably just have this really long strand still sticking out to help you attach the top hat. 
I'm going to take this smaller tail of mine and it's coming out of this stitch right here on the outside. So I'm going to wiggle that yarn through to the middle. There we go. Hold it back so it does, it keeps a nice shape here and doesn't pull it in too much. And then I'm just going to tuck that tail in the middle there. All right. Now I'm going to take the long tail that I'm going to use for, atta for attaching the top hat to the snowman. I'm going to thread that through and I'm going to take this yarn and I'm going to wiggle it from the outside to that inner round where we did the front loop only. So right at the beginning of round seven. There we go. And again, holding, the, keeping this hat brim rounded. There we go. Before I attach this head to the snowman, I do want to stuff the inside of this top hat just a little bit so that way it's holding form but isn't overly stuffed causing making the top. I don't want the top hat to be rounded on the top. I want to be able to squish that down and have the top hat be flat. Okay, so watch how much you stuff this so that your top hat can stay flat on the top here, okay? Then taking your snowman, finding that line, the join line, which is right here. I want that join line facing the back, okay? I want the, the yarn string that I'm using to attach, I want that to also be facing the back. Now you can play. Do you want the top hat to be straight on top of your snowman? Do you want the top hat to have some personality and be sideways? Do you want it back a little bit? Do you want it forward a little bit? Where do you want that hat to be? You can play around with this. This is totally personal preference right here. I think I'll put this hat right on top of this snowman. For my black one, I tilted the hat just slightly. Okay, so taking your yarn needle, tapestry needle, you're gonna find where that front loop or round seven is attaching to your snowman. And you're just gonna go into a stitch and out. And then you're gonna find those remaining loops here and you're gonna go into that loop, that back loop that got left behind and then come back into the snowman. Then come underneath that loop that was left behind and into the snowman. You want to make sure that this brim does not get included or sewn into your snowman. We want that brim to stick out and have that 3D effect. So looking, finding that loop. There we go. And can repeat this, making your way all the way around. And I will meet you when I get all the way around my snowman. All right, I'm about to close the hat. And last stitch here, perfect. There we go, okay, again, before I tie this off and cut the yarn, I'm gonna go all the way around the hat and make sure that I, I pull the brim away from the snowman and see if I left any holes any spots I need to go back and attach. I am good, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep gray to gray, color to color. I'm gonna go into the hat. So here's where my yarn is coming out. So in the stitch right next to where my yarn is coming out. Okay, hold some yarn back. I'm gonna twist it to form this X shape. Find the yarn, here's the yarn that's in the front. There's the yarn that's in the back. Take my needle, go around the yarn that's in the back into the middle and slowly feed that through so that way it doesn't create a knot further up leaving a bunch of slack and that creates your slip knot. If you do this process and it did not create a knot for you at all, it just kind of went loose, then try it again but go around the other side this time and that should hopefully work for you. Okay, now that I've tied off my work, I'm going to insert next to where my knot is. 
and I'm going to poke it out the top of my hat and pull so that the yarn will get trapped inside the stuffing, that polyfill. And then I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut my yarn right next to the work. And now my top hat is sewn onto my snowman. We are going to begin by actually attaching the eyes and the smile to the snowman first before we attach the carrot. That way the carrot isn't in the way of us attaching the placement of our eyes and our mouth. We can just lay that on top wherever we want it to go. We want to pull out our black color yarn, our yarn needle or tapestry needle, and our snowman. So go ahead and cut about 18 to 24 inches of yarn of this black color just so you have enough to work with. You want to err on too much than not enough because it is a bit of a pain to attach more yarn in this section of the snowman process. Go ahead and thread your yarn and let's begin. So start by looking at your snowman and finding the back of your snowman. And for me, that is this line of joins that we have shown here. I'm gonna put my finger on that line of joins, flip my snowman so I know that that is the back and this is the front, and I will begin. So, all right, depending on how you placed your hat, I'm going to look at the base of the snowman, the base of the head here where it attached to the body, and I am going to put the eyes between row four and five here. So I'm gonna have one eye right here. I will take my yarn needle and I will go the stitch below that and pop through. I'll leave back some yarn here and I will go up one stitch space and then back into the stitch space that I just came from. Perfect and that gives me one eye. I want there to be three threads of yarn for the eye just to really bold it. So back in that same stitch, come through the same where I began, slowly feed so you can control where it lays, and one more back into the top. But this time I want the tip of my needle to go to the bottom of where eye number two will go. I'm going to place the second eye four stitches over from this eye. So one, two, three, four, staying in line with each other. So I'm gonna pop this out right there. There we go. Okay, eye number one is done. So again, going up one stitch and back into the same stitch I just came from. So one, two, and one more. And this time I want my yarn needle to go down a stitch and over. So from the bottom of my eye here, down a stitch and over, and that will be the start of my smile. Okay, so working on the smile, the smile will go down one stitch and over. So down one, over, and I will pop out the next stitch over. Okay, and now we're going to go in a straight line this way, four stitches this direction. So going back to close that gap there and over. So there's one, two, three, and this will be four. And in my next stitch, I want to go over one stitch and up one stitch, which <laughs> ends up being the same exact stitch that I have my tail coming out of right here. And then down again, so that way I can connect those two yarns. And I want my yarn to actually come out the same stitch that my other tail is coming out of. In this case, it's the same exact stitch as the corner of my smile. There we go. Ideally, you want your smile to be ending on the side of this eye and the side of this eye. So the smile will end on the sides of your eyes. That's where you want them to stop. Grabbing your scissors, cutting your yarn. 
Go ahead and tie a knot to secure all the yarn there. Right now, he kind of looks like a ghost, not so much a snowman, but that's okay, we're about to fix that. Taking your yarn needle, go out or into the back of the snowman and pop out the same exact stitch that these two tails are coming out of. There we go. Take those tails, hook them with the hook on the claw on your crochet hook and pull those tails inside the snowman. And now that polyfill has wrapped around those two tails and secured them so they're not going anywhere. And here is your face, your eyes, and your smile. Now grab your carrot nose and your yarn needle or tapestry needle. Take the long tail part and thread your needle. Perfect. And now we can lay our carrot nose wherever we want and it's not gonna get in the way of where we are trying to sew our eyes or, or our mouth. Okay, and then go into the snowman and out the carrot nose. And then back into the carrot nose, into the snowman, and into the point of the carrot to just pull that point Make it pointy there, pull everything tight. Back into the carrot nose, into the snowman, out this corner. And I'm just going to grab the corner of this carrot nose. There we go. Pull that so all sides of the carrot are being pulled to keep that definition. Great, and now I'm gonna take my yarn needle, go into that stitch I just came out of, and pop out the very first stitch that I attached the snowman, the, the nose to the snowman. Remove my yarn needle. Tie these two tails together. There we go, knot, knot. Check out my carrot nose, I love it. Okay, go ahead and take your scissors. Cut those long tails shorter. Take your crochet hook, enter in from the back of the snowman and wiggle it through to the same stitch space that both of these tails are coming out of. Take those two tails, hook them with the claw of your crochet hook and pull those tails inside your snowman. Release the tails from the hook inside the snowman. Give it a little squeeze, kind of mold it a bit. And there we go. There is the face of our snowman. Next, we're gonna move on to our buttons. So taking my string, if you need to cut more yarn now, you can absolutely do that. Great time for it. Okay, looking at the center of his nose, following the line, or if however you wanna do your buttons. I'm going to skip one round and insert my crochet hook into the next round. This would have been round 10. So skipping round 11 and round 10, I'm going to come in from another for further away crochet stitch and then enter my yarn needle and go one over to the side. So go and then go back to the same stitch that I entered in. So I'm gonna go one, do this three times. Two, and three, perfect. Then I go down a row, or go down around. Reinsert my yarn needle into the same stitch. Go down around. There we go. And next stitch over, I'm gonna go one and two and three. Great. And one more stitch down. And one stitch over. One. 
two, and three. Perfect. There's our buttons. Reinsert your yarn needle into the same stitch space and come out the same stitch where we started, cutting our yarn and making our knots. One, two, three, taking our crochet hook, inserting into the work somewhere, coming out that same stitch where these two black yarns tails are sticking out of, yarning over with the crochet hook and pulling those tails on the inside of the work. And they are gone. Great, so now our three buttons are created and last thing we need to make is our arms. So grabbing our brown color, cutting some yarn and threading our yarn needle. Okay, great. So looking at our arms, the top of our arm is in line with our top button and it is one, two, three, four stitches over. So looking at our top button, moving four stitches over. So one, two, three, four. This stitch is where we want our yarn to come out of. So I'm gonna go over the, to the fifth stitch, insert my yarn needle and come out that fourth stitch. All right. And then we go down one, over one, down one, over one. Okay, so that's where we will enter our yarn needle. And then we wanna go down one and over one again. So down one, over one, and that's where we will come out. Then I wanna go back up to, to cover up this space. And we will go down one, over one again for that middle twig. So down one, over one. Right, and go back in. So this will be the middle twig. So the top twig will be just up one and over one. So up one, over one. Okay, and then the bottom twig will be down two. So one, two. All right, back into that center. And then I will poke my yarn needle out the same exact stitch that my tail is coming out of. And there is arm number one. Cut my yarn. One, two, three. There we go. And one more arm to go. Okay, so looking at our buttons, one, two, three, four on the other side. Looking at our button. One, two, three, four. That's where we want our yarn to come out. So I'm gonna to go to the fifth stitch over, insert my yarn needle and poke out that fourth stitch. Now remember, we're gonna go down a stitch over for a diagonal and then poke out down a stitch over one more for a diagonal look, come back to the top here to close this gap. And then we're gonna go down a stitch over again. Down a stitch over for that middle finger or middle stick. And then go back up to close that gap and one over for the top finger. And then go back into that same stitch and down two stitch spaces. So one, two, back here, down two stitches and back into that same stitch and come out 
where that other tail came in and there is arm number two and make our knot one two three i can cut off this extra uh, extra tail extra long tail make it shorter enter in this side of the snowman pop out where those two tails were coming out of grab those tails and pull them into the work great our snowman is done so how does his scarf work so when we made the scarf we made a chain three open opening here so what i want you to do is take the long part of the scarf and go around the front of the snowman come to the back and then come through that hole that we created and that will help secure the scarf on your snowman so he will look like that and it'll stay on him opposed to tying a knot or something this looks a lot more natural it lays a lot nicer and i thought it looked great so here is your snowman feel free to deviate your snowman with different colors different hats different arm placements different nose placements whatever seems fun to you maybe even make colorful buttons and make it look like christmas lights i don't know just i hope you have fun i hope you think these are adorable make lots of them H help them to just make your holiday merry and bright and i hope you had fun i hope you had a lot of fun making your little mini snowman if you did you might also really enjoy these videos right here also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys. Really? <laughs> what baby girl? <laughs> baby, I I'm, re I'm recording sweetheart. Yes, yes, okay. I get it. Okay. Okay, I get it. I'm almost done. <laughs> really? Okay. Lay back down. I'm almost done.